we are diving back into Call of the Wild the Angler, and that pun is absolutely intended. We've been hard at work, earning credits and leveling up, trying to unlock a particular spinning reel, and just quickly, we'll take a look at that. I believe it is 20,000 credits. It is this one right here, the Pure Champion. 22,500 credits. We're about halfway there. And frankly, I've been having a blast with the daily and weekly challenges. They've been a really good way of earning credits. So today's dailies, I was looking through them. There's two really good ones for XP. We need seven silver kokanee salmon, so we'll activate that. We also can get four golds of any species. That would give us 540 XP as well. And I think as we're doing that, we're likely to catch 17 and a half pounds worth of fish. So we might as well activate this one as it's the next highest up in terms of XP. So we're going to set out for that. We have some weekly challenges going, and I think we'll even just go ahead and activate one from over here just to give us more to work on. And actually, we might as well start with that. The Diamond's Peak Fishing Challenge number two is to just catch a gold rank smallmouth bass from this location. And we need golds anyway for our daily challenge, so it would make sense to get this out of the way. I think if we throw a popper on here, we should be able to get smallmouth to hit. So we'll just throw this out here and see what we can do. That's a pretty good sized fish coming in. Slow that retrieval down just a little bit. You know what we need as well? Like a proper topwater strike animation would be amazing for this. That is a gold. I, I want to say these challenges do spawn like the size of fish you need. But that started out really, really well. We could have been here for a while, but I think we'll probably move to some other areas just because I think some fish are going to be easier to target. And by the way, speaking of the topwater thing, if and when we get fly fishing in this game, that's going to be absolutely necessary. A uh, fish striking a dry fly on the surface like that, we definitely would need animation to really make it feel real. And I guess at this point, we might as well go and try to catch the diamond largemouth. Now, again, these should spawn a mission fish. So I wouldn't say this would be something special, but we've never caught a diamond largemouth. And we might as well go and get that. It's going to go towards some of our daily challenges anyway. So it is at this lake up here. Go ahead and track that and fast travel. And I think we should be able to catch it from a boat as well. Now, in theory, this could be done anywhere along the lake. But I think we're at least going to start kind of over here by the shore. There's a little bit of structure there. I'm not sure if that may kind of help us out. And at least to start with, we're going to try a hook size 3 frog. I think that'd be a really cool lure to actually catch a diamond largemouth on. So let's see if we can just get that right at the edge there. And we'll basically do the same thing. Just kind of work it with a twitching maneuver. And see if we can get one to come up and hit. Made the switch to a hook size 6 frog. And there is a pretty big bass after it. Now I switched up our setup a little bit. This is 13 pound test. So if this is actually a diamond bass... I would imagine it should be tougher to catch than that. It looks pretty big. That was a gold at 7.37. Kind of what we'd expect, and there was decent tension, but we were able to bring it in. I think diamond largemouths are 9 or 10 pounds, so with this line, it shouldn't be necessarily a major challenge, but it definitely could turn into quite a battle. Maybe the smaller hook size is going to work, then let's try back where we started. It doesn't look that big, but we got another one hitting. Ooh. That is pretty slow attention at that distance. He didn't look huge to me, and we are still able to pretty well control him all the way in. Evidently, this is a good way to knock out, like, gold daily challenges. I think this will be a gold again. Yeah, definitely a smaller bass. That's actually only a silver. Not too bad. I like that, though, for the potential of having, like, a legitimate battle with the diamond. Should we, we be able to hook one? What I've been doing is kind of casting at ripples when fish surface, and it seems to work with this size frog that's a pretty big fish we just moved locations again let's see if we can just bring that by him even if that's not a diamond and just ends up being a decent gold if we can catch him that would complete the daily challenge for four golds already he doesn't seem to be all that interested might need to try a different approach that's gonna work that looks like a huge fish this could be really interesting on 13 pound test let's see Oh, he might have been close enough, it's not going to matter. How big was that? It looks like our biggest. That's still a gold at 7 pounds, but we might level up at this. There's a couple of challenges that are going to com be completed simultaneously, and indeed, level 68, 2,000 credits come from that. 
And where does that actually put us? We're over 14,000 now. We actually had a weekly challenge to catch 25 silver or higher rank, and that completed our daily of four gold or higher. Plus, of course, at some stage, we got the almost 18 pounds. So, still, gotta catch that diamond, but I thought maybe right here where it kind of runs into the creek, it might be a decent spot, and that could well be the case. I'm seeing quite a few bass here. That's a big one. I don't know what the odds are that he would, like, surface with us driving by. Can I just do real slow retrieval? See if that works. That got his attention immediately. It's a pretty wide-looking fish. Tension-wise, oh, that, that went higher than I've seen. It still wasn't hard to bring him in. Which, oh, that looks big. Still not big enough. Almost eight pounds. We've got a bunch of, like, seven and a half, eight-pound bass. I wonder if that's an option, just kind of like, almost trolling around and looking. That's another pretty big fish. I still don't think it's enough. But he actually hit in the lily pads over there, which was pretty cool. I went back to the frog for that reason. He looks good, but I think he's going to be a six or seven pounder again. A lot of good fish, just not quite enough. I can't imagine... It's going to be that big a difference. Yeah, 6.67 pounds. We're getting decent ones, just not quite what we need. That might be the best fish we've seen. Up to like three-quarter tension there. I can't say we've seen that. And we have like a consistent line stretching sound. I think he's kind of got that bullhead on him. Let's see. Could that be a diamond largemouth bass? 8.76 pounds. There's, it's hard to describe it, but there's a little bit of a, a shape to their head. I've noticed with the diamond largemouths, it's just a little bit different. So we were so close when we were catching like seven and a half, seven point, whatever it was, eight or nine pound fish. Still not a terribly difficult retrieval, though I think we maybe hooked them at like, whatever it was. 30 feet so next time if we have an opportunity like this we'll go lower on the line size but it was like an hour ago that i said it wouldn't be a significant achievement to you know catch that diamond there took a while i would still say that's some level of achievement but let's go and talk to the shopkeeper we're closing it on leveling up again and we still haven't even done our other daily challenge i've really been most excited about the kokanee salmon this entire time but Got that done, got our reputation, and I think we'll leave those challenges for now. So, I actually don't even know the best areas to catch kokanee salmon anymore. It may take some time, but I think running water is going to be a good bet. That looked like a huge kokanee salmon. The good news is, once you find them, they're pretty obvious. I mean, that vibrant red coloration really stands out, but they only get up to five or six pounds, I think. And that one that jumped out of the water looked to be every bit of that. Now, we've got on a size 6 spoon. I don't know if that's the one or not. It's a good one, whatever it is. I'm going to say silver easily. Maybe gold for that guy? And we need 7 of them, so every good one we can get is a plus. That is going to be a silver at 2.95 pounds. I really wonder, was that the same fish? By the way, I've been looking for this lake. This is the Emerald Plateau Lake, and... I remember seeing the coconut salmon in this crystal clear water before, so when we finally got here, I expected to find them. And by the way, I did join multiplayer because it was almost dark in our single player, and now we have a server that's 6am, so we should be good to go as far as light's concerned. That's a little more like it. Finally, got into another one, and he looks pretty decent as well from memory. Typically, we'd catch like one or two pounders. Just consistently, that's our second silver. As long as we're getting silvers and not bronzes, we're in good shape. Need five more now. That's going to be number six. That looks like a good enough sized fish to me. Just got to bring him in here. He actually hit from pretty far away. But that is what we're looking for. What? Holy. I have never seen a fish jump that high. It might have been because we happened to pump right then. Two and a half pound silver, actually one of the better ones. One away from completing that, and I think, based on our XP, that should level us up again. So, just gotta find one more fish to cast at. And 
that I do believe is going to be number seven. So we should be looking at leveling up once again, bringing our credit total probably north of 1600. So long as that's a silver and it is at 2.67 pounds, that's gonna do it. And we should see 547 XP level up and 1200 credits, not as many this time. What does that put us at? 15,576. So just about 7K shy of the real. But that is going to complete all of the challenges that we can other than the Rainbow Trout Weekly, which we need five more Bronze Plus in three days. I'm not too worried about doing that right now. It could even level us up again, but I think catching five Bronze Rainbow Trout might not be the most interesting thing to do in this video. We did catch, albeit a Mission Fish, our first Diamond Large Mouth ever, and honestly, all the decent sized golds we caught while doing that. But I think the Kokanee Salmon was my favorite part. I've been meaning to go and target them for a couple of weeks, and this was the perfect opportunity to finally do it, and hopefully, that'll be something we can see a legendary of as well. I think that would be a ton of fun sometime down the road. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.